Uh, let's talk about GMOs. Um, how much do we actually know <clears throat> about the effect that they have in our body? Well, certainly not enough, although we know enough not to eat them. All right, so mm -hmm. there's two things here. Because the scientists will always say, if we're not sure, well, we need more study on this. Of course, that study never happens. The controversy uh, stems from the, the fact that the majority of studies on the safety of GMOs, guess who were conducted by? The very manufacturers mm -hmm. of those genetically modified organisms. So what are you going to do? Well, we look to any independent research. And of course, the big study out of France that came out some months ago was the uh, was it about two-year study, not a 90-day study, of rats fed GMO corn, for instance, and found that tumors were popping up all over these rats and also having other endocrine disruptions, inability to procreate. So we got infertility issues, sterility issues. So there's enough over a, a longer-term study that says this is a disaster, an absolute disaster. And I talk about it in terms of, yes, they're called genetically modified organisms, but I really think that they should be called GMAs, genetically modified abominations, because there's no place on the planet for man to outcreate so-called the creator mm -hmm. in this case, in my opinion. I mean, we have a beautiful, uh, wonderful creation, the planet, the universe we live in. It's, it's quite intelligent in its own right if we would get out of the way and learn from it, in fact. But here we're trying to say we know better. Let's orchestrate the creation of new things, like they cross you know, a fish with what now? I mean, a tomato with, all of these things are just absolutely frightening. And the idea is, of course, well, we want to feed the planet. Well, if you wanted to feed the planet, you go into the places that are barren and re rehabilitate the soils. You would make sure that there was adequate water in those places. But their idea, of course, is all about bottom line profit. How do we own food? How do we control the population? Well, food, water big part of it. If you can manage their diseases by creating those diseases from the get-go, the disease ma ma machinery, if we will, the making machinery, starts with the vaccine issue. I mean, that really is the starting point, and that's like your lifelong gateway drug to dependence on the pharmaceutical industrial complex. So all of these things do coalesce and come together. I believe the GMO issue is going to be found to be one of the worst mistakes that we ever made in terms of promoting feeding of the world, but in fact creating even more diseases that we've never even seen before mm -hmm. or worsening of the existing ones that shouldn't be around at all. So what can people do and how will they know what they're looking for when they when they go to purchase food? We're in California right now, which right. was a battleground last fall, Proposition 37, yes. I believe, that, uh, that, that failed uh, in terms of uh, that was supposed to uh, label GMO foods. It, like I said, it failed. So what do people do? Right. How, do they, how do they know if what they're buying is genetically modified or not? Well, the only thing you could rely upon to some degree is the certification agencies of organic agriculture. There's a federal and there's some state and local. Now, that's even not 100% guaranteed. I really say this, that we need, instead of growing lawns, we need to start growing our food. We need to save the seeds, the heirlooms, the organic food seeds that you have, and start planting, even if it's in mm -hmm. your windowsill, vertical, anything you got. The thing is, we have got to bring that food back into our own production, back into our own lives. But each and every one of us has an obligation now to become a family farmer. Even if it's a one-by-one one plot of the square, mm -hmm. we do that. Now we're going to take control. We're going to stop purchasing those, stop relying, stop depending upon those channels of food distribution where they know they got us because we're so hooked, we're so dependent. We've lost through generations the ability to know that food comes from the ground. Like I grew up that way as a city boy. And so I had to come back to this understanding. And so I'm urging everybody that listens to my show to plant something, even if it's one thing, then go to two and three. And in that way, we can break the back of the genetically modified abominations because we're no longer relying fully on them for the food that we bring into our families. So I think it's a simple solution, although one that's not thought of because, oh, no, no, we have to have government intervene. If you're going to wait for that to happen, they've already intervened. They've intervened on the side of the genetic modifiers. Mm -hmm.